It's been said that music can soothe the savage beast, but it seems it can also be put to work soothing those that are not so savage. Like the dogs waiting to be adopted at Augusta's animal shelter. These canines are now hearing the classics. Talk about your pet sounds out there somewhere with George Escala. At Augusta's animal shelter, you're going to hear some barking, but also Bach and Beethoven. Crazy, I know, it's amazing. Amazing and classical music, that is. The pups at the pound now hearing the pacifying sounds of symphonic music. Trying to make their environment stress free and, and their uh, time here in the shelter um, less stressful, we are uh, implementing different ideas. Studies show that dogs, cats, and all kinds of animals respond so well to the soothing, relaxing, um, you know, classical type music. The music isn't very loud, it's in the background. That's because dogs' ears are way better than humans. And though it just started Wednesday, the pets seem to like what they hear. We are seeing a difference already. Donations and volunteers handle the cost. CDs are used. There's music especially for dogs and the works of big name composers. And even Augusta's own symphony orchestra kicked in some tunes. Erica not only volunteers at the shelter, she also works for the symphony. We've um, put together a CD, some of our previous concerts, we've taken some music from that, put it on the CD so they've been able to start playing that here, and we really look forward to contributing some more pieces. I don't know if they take requests, what do you want to hear? Oh, that's not bad. Who let the dogs out? We don't have who let the dogs out? Not yet. <laughs> Maybe on a Saturday afternoon we'll play that one. They may be mutts, but their choice in music is pretty classy. Out there somewhere in Augusta. George Escala, WJBF, News Channel 6. That's nice. That is, that's pretty sweet. And that's